A report by Jeremy Scahill in The Nation revealed that the largest mercenary army in the world, Blackwater, later called XE Services and more recently Academy, clandestine intelligence services was sold to the multinational Monsanto. Blackwater was renamed in 2009 after becoming famous in the world with numerous reports of abuses in Iraq, including massacres of civilians. It remains the largest private contractor of the United States Department of State Security Services and practices state terrorism by giving the government the opportunity to deny it. Many military and former CIA officers worked for Blackwater or related companies created to divert attention from their bad reputation and make more profit selling their nefarious services. Ranging from information and intelligence to infiltration, political lobbying and paramilitary training for other governments, banks and multinational corporations, according to Scahill, business with multinationals, like Monsanto, Chevron, and financial giants such as Barclays and Deutsche Bank, are channeled through to companies owned by Eric Prince, owner of Blackwater, Total Intelligence Solutions and Terrorism Research Center. These officers and directors share Blackwater. One of them, Coffer Black, known for his brutality as one of the directors of the CIA, was the one who made contact with Monsanto in 2008 as director of Total Intelligence, entering into the contract with the company to spy on and infiltrate organizations of animal rights activists, anti-GM, and other dirty activities of the biotech giant. Contacted by Scahill, the Monsanto executive Kevin Wilson declined to comment, but later confirmed to the nation that they had hired Total Intelligence in 2008 and 2009, according to Monsanto only to keep track of public disclosure of its opponents. He also said that Total Intelligence was a totally separate entity from Blackwater. However, Scahill has copies of emails from Coffer Black after the meeting with Wilson for Monsanto, where he explains to other former CIA agents, using their Blackwater emails, that the discussion with Wilson was that Total Intelligence had become Monsanto's intelligence arm, spying on activists and other actions, including our people to legally integrate these groups. Total Intelligence Monsanto paid $127,000 in 2008 and $105,000 in 2009. No wonder that a company engaged in the science of death as Monsanto, which has been dedicated from the outset to produce toxic poisons spilling from Agent Orange to PCBs, pesticides, hormones and genetically modified seeds is associated with another company of thugs. Almost simultaneously with the publication of this article in The Nation, the Viacompasina reported the purchase of 500,000 shares of Monsanto for more than $23 million by the Bell and Melinda Gates Foundation, which with this action completed the outing of the mask of philanthropy. Another association that is not surprising. It is a marriage between the two most brutal monopolies in the history of industrialism. Bill Gates controls more than 90% of the market share of proprietary computing and Monsanto about 90% of the global transgenic seed market and most global commercial seed. There does not exist in any other industrial sector monopolies so vast, whose very existence is a negation of the bonded principle of market competition of capitalism. Both Gates and Monsanto are very aggressive in defending their ill-gotten monopolies. Although Bill Gates might try to say that the foundation is not linked to his business, all it proves is the opposite. Most of their donations end up favoring the commercial investments of the tycoon, not really donating anything, but instead of paying taxes to the state coffers, he invests his profits in where it is favorable to him economically, including propaganda from their supposed good intentions. On the contrary, 
their donations, finance projects as destructive as geoengineering or replacement of natural community medicines for high-tech patented medicines in the poorest areas of the world. What a coincidence! Former Secretary of Health Julio Frank and Ernesto's Adelora Advisors of the Foundation. Like Monsanto, Gates is also engaged in trying to destroy rural farming worldwide, mainly through the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA. It works as a Trojan horse to deprive poor African farmers of their traditional seeds, replacing them with the seeds of their companies first, finally by genetically modified GM. To this end, the foundation hired Robert Horsch in 2006, the director of Monsanto, now Gates, airing major profits, went straight to the source. Blackwater, Monsanto and Gates are three sides of the same figure, the war machine on the planet and most people who inhabit it, are peasants, indigenous communities, people who want to share information and knowledge or any other who does not want to be in the aegis of profit and the destructiveness of capitalism. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive evil corporations. We will not forget your injustice. Always. Expect us. Make it